A real simple drill that we use is standing backwards at the baseline, getting the ball up into a throwing position, turning all the way towards the court, letting your hips and shoulders turn now towards the court, and throwing the ball with a follow through. Follow through with your arm and with the step. And what you'll start to develop is a greater sense of that third source of power, which is torque and turn of your torso. Hi everyone and welcome. We're here with a very special guest, someone who makes it all possible and helps to contribute to the Boston Lobsters, Joan Norton. You've done so much for this team and also your Joan Norton Financial Services. Talk about your partnership with the Lobsters and your excitement to help this World Team Tennis program. Well, I've always been interested in the lobsters. Um, they were around in the um, 80s, and um, it was great. Uh, people liked the concept of world tennis, uh, world team tennis, men and women playing together. They liked the idea of team. Americans love team. And then um, it started back up again, and when it first started, um, I was really interested in the concept, Went, got season tickets, went to the match, loved them, loved the crowd enthusiasm. Um, Loved the little kids getting involved in it, and uh, I just wanted to be part of that. So, And also, this team is dear to your heart. I mean, you could help so many different players, so many different teams. Why do you choose the Lobsters? It's just, I like the fact that kids can go out and hit a ball and run, and uh, I love the concept uh, that they've, they've made the court half size now for little kids. A lot of people don't realize that. It's I think it's called under 10. Um, so right away they can get the idea of, uh, you know, playing and, and uh, you know, getting into the action, getting into the game, naming their teams. Um, it, it's just a lot of fun. It's fun to see, too. And the Billie Jean King Tennis Center, National Tennis Center in New York is a great place, but we have the Joan Norton Stadium at the Ferncroft Country Club, recently named last year. Tell me about that stadium and uh, how great it is here in World Team Tennis. I have my own business, uh, 26 years, and just to be able to market your business in something you love is really great. I mean, so many times you're approached by people, uh, you know, they want you to advertise here or there or what have you, but to be promoting uh, you know, games and kids and a sport you love and your marketing. I mean, it's just perfect. And tell me about the Joan Norton Financial Services company that you have. What do you do and uh, how do you help the community and just really the business world in general? Well, I've been in business 26 years. I'm an independent financial advisor, which means that um, I don't have a manager and uh, I'm working for the client, not for the particular uh, XYZ financial service company. Um, so I have the ability to fit um, situations exactly with the client needs in their financial uh, um, stage in life. So I like that. I like the independence of it. Um, and as I said, I've been doing it for 26 years. You really become friends with your clients. Um, we focus on service. I have five people working for me. Um, we have client events, many of which we've had at the Ferncroft, and um, my clients love World Team Tennis. They, they have a good time with it. So, um, and it's really, it's for people that, um, you know, they've, they've accumulated uh, their wealth over a lifetime. They weren't born with a still, silver spoon in their mouth, and uh, they want to make sure that they have a comfortable retirement, but also they want to give to their grandkids and, and children. So please give it forward to kids. Again, you might be the difference that turn a kid around you know you never know how you're going to touch someone in 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 a way and really affect their life so well, thank you for everything you do with the lobsters and really the community oh thank you and i, I go lobsters we're go lobsters we're going to do it here and harry chickma here with joe norton for more information check out joenorton.com and also bostonlobsters.net Hi everyone, Harry Chickma here alongside the head coach of the Boston Lobsters, Bud Schultz. Falcone, Irina Falcone, a great American player, had a nice run at the U.S. Open. You have her back again with the Lobsters. How is she going to help your program this year? Well, another player on our team who's had some college experience. Uh, went to Georgia Tech, did incredibly well at Georgia Tech, came out onto the tour and immediately uh, went through the rankings up into the top 100 in the world. Um, the th thing about her is she's 
small in in height, but she brings it every night. Her, the emotion that she brings is going to be fantastic and a perfect fit for world team tennis. The other thing about Arena is that she can do everything with a tennis ball: topspin, underspin, uh, drop shots, lobs serve all sorts of creative things the fans are going to love watching her play because it's not just watching um, someone bash a ball from corner to corner very very creative um, and as a consequence really fun to coach because you know you can give her a particular strategy and she's going to have the tools to be able to execute it. So it'll add a piece to our team that will fit well, obviously, in singles, uh, but it'll fit really well in women's doubles. And when needed, it'll fit really well in the mixed doubles. So a great addition to our team, great teammate, uh, great in the locker room, great on the court, thrilled to have her back. Well, Irina Falcone definitely making waves throughout the world of tennis. Here's what she has to say about competing in world team tennis and her recent success. The format was completely foreign to me. I really had to take a couple matches to really learn what it was all about. Even just the net rule where you can actually play the let court. Yeah, I mean, it was really, it was something really cool, but I really enjoyed it. It was a complete different atmosphere compared to the pro tour. I was at Georgia Tech for two years where I was in a team environment and it was just great to be thrown in pretty much uh, into the wolves and I just enjoyed every second of it. Uh, Bud Schultz was great and all my teammates were absolutely so welcoming and so were the fans. Absolutely, I think to come out and you know that you have to go be ready from the very first point. I mean it gets you in a, mind, in a frame of mind that really helps you not only in world team tennis but also on the pro tour as well. I think tennis is a sport that's slowly becoming more and more community-based and I think it's great to have members of the team somehow contribute and just, you know, give back. Anytime tennis players can do that, they're definitely feeling a little better about themselves when they go to sleep that night and, um, you know, we wouldn't be able to do it without that community, that city that, you know, believes in that team. So anytime that we can reach out to kids and grown-ups and um, give back to people that don't, aren't that privileged and play every single week for money. I think it's great and it gives them a new outlook and a possibility and opportunity hopefully for, for them in the future. Irina Falcone having a great run at the U.S. Open. Hopefully again with the Lobsters. You also have Carly Gullickson playing on your team this year. Her first time with the Lobsters. Talk about her as an addition to the team. Well, as a past winner at the U.S. Open, um, that's a pretty good addition to bring someone who's, who's got a slam trophy at home on their mantle. Um, great doubles player, she's going to add a ton of experience and skill to our women's doubles. And Coach, you are from the New England area, you're from the Boston area. What would it mean to this community to win a World Team Tennis Championship? Well, I think it would be unbelievable for the tennis community, not only the North Shore tennis community that supports us so well, but the overall New England tennis community. Um, we've got a high standard around here with all the other sports teams, but uh, I think it would be a real thrill for New England tennis community. It would certainly be a real thrill for this local community and for the organization that works so hard every year to put out such a great product, um, it would be a feather in their cap that would be well deserved. And what can the fans expect to see at the Ferncroft Country Club this year? It's a great event. You want tickets, go to bostonlobsters.net, of course. But why should you come in and watch a match? Well, it's just inspiring. To, to see the pros up close and personal like that is, as I say over and over, is you walk away feeling like you saw magic. Uh, there's nothing that could be more inspiring to kids, to the average tennis player, those that are really passionate about just playing the game, they'll walk away thinking, I want to go play more tennis. Um, aside from that, it's just an unbelievable way to spend a summer night. You can go there early, food, drink, the atmosphere, being up close, the, the excitement during the match is different. It's, it's louder, it's more fan interactive than you're gonna see at the US Open. You're gonna walk away saying that was as good an athletic viewing experience as I've ever had. So 
come out, come often, and uh, enjoy our great summer nights with the Boston Lobsters. Absolutely. Coach, thanks for everything. Great spending Harry. time with you here. Harry Chickman here with Bud Schultz. Once again, to watch Coach Schultz, John Isner, and the team, go to bostonlobsters.net for tickets. I'm Harry Chickma for the Lobsters and everyone at World Team Tennis. We'll see you again next time to talk Lobsters Tennis. Hi everyone, back here with Joan Norton, the owner and CEO, also the founder of Joan Norton Financial Services, and someone who really helps the Boston Lobsters and human equality, and that's what this show is all about, Title IX, women's rights, and other things. And the original nine were honored in Charleston. We saw that footage here on this Boston Lobsters show. Tell me what you think about Title IX and helping women throughout the sports world. It's so important. It's so important. First off, as an entrepreneur, I mean, these were women that were breaking uh, from a situation where they really had nothing to lose because they weren't getting equal money. And I remember the Virginia Slims. I remember they would go... Um, from um, car to car promoting uh, at the tennis club that I b belong to, Virginia, Virginia Slim's uh, circuit. And it was just incredible what they were able to do. But the whole issue about Title IX, having the equality and having women um, get outlets in sports and to feel the connection and the team spirit of sports, it's so important in business and in life. I mean, that's what life is about. It's all about connections. It's all about a team. No one gets through life alone. You've got to depend upon different people, and they have to depend upon you. And it was just uh, the epitome of showing that. And I don't believe that was shown before with women. I think this is the first time that you ever saw that uh, coming together as a team and women showing an entrepreneurial spirit. And also, how about the bravery they showed to go against, you know, really everything and the mindset to do this? It was incredible. I remember uh, Billy Jean King was saying about uh, they had uh, the um, league on the phone and they were saying, okay, if you do this, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, break off. You're not going to be able to play into the different tournaments, what have you. I mean, think of this, you know, you can't play Wimbledon, you can't play the U.S. Open. It was incredible bravery. And taking that just a step further, the, the issue about the exhibition, which was called a tennis match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs, that was not a tennis match. What that was is that was proving that women had the emotional um, sense or, or the ability to perform under tremendous stress. That's what it proved. That's why you have women doctors. That's why you have women lawyers. And that's why you have women financial advisors, because we're not just emotional. We're human beings, and that's what that proved. Absolutely. Well, Joan Norton, a prime example of that, and her Joan Norton Financial Services. For more information, check out joannorton.com.